Hi, my name is Brent DeCesar. I'm one half of WD Detailing, and today we're going to be cleaning a really moldy Buick Riata that sat outside for over 22 years. The owner took me into his backyard, and as soon as I saw this one specifically, I knew we had to do it. When we opened the doors, the first thing that we found was a ton of mold and what looks like a mouse nest beginning to form at some point. All in all, this car smelled absolutely horrendous and it was just disgusting. So the first thing that we're doing is working on the engine bay and that means getting rid of all of the leaves and anything that piled up over the years in the jam of the bay. After that, we went ahead and we used a pressure washer and some degreaser on it. And after we finished the engine bay, we moved on to the wheels. So when cleaning the wheels, the first thing we'll do is pressure wash them off just to get a cleaner surface. And then we'll spray our wheel and tire cleaner on them and use a couple different brushes to get into the wheel crevices and on the face of the rim and then behind the rim and in the barrel. And after that, we'll spray everything away, leaving a really clean wheel. Now we're getting ready to pressure wash and clean the outside of the car. We wanted to use our paint safe degreaser first to loosen up all that mold and grime before we actually took a pressure washer to the surface. And then we started pressure washing, which is by far the most satisfying part of any detail that we do. So our process with pressure washing, we always like to try to work from top to bottom. So the first thing we did was the roof. So we went to the hood after that, and then the sides, and then the rear. Just watching the pressure washer go in straight lines, taking away those years of grime, just feels so good inside. I can't even explain it. And then after having all that pressure washed off, we'll go ahead and spray the entire car down with our foam cannon. So here we're using the foam cannon and the reason for that is because after pressure washing the car, there is still grime and dirt left on the surface of the paint. And the foam cannon really just helps add more soap to the paint than putting soap in a bucket would. And when you're washing the car off with microfiber mitts, it makes it easier to do and quicker. After we wash it off, we spray the ceramic spray just to give it some protection before moving on to the interior. So in our first round of vacuuming, we knew that this car was really bad, so we weren't gonna get everything. So we definitely were gonna need to use the drill brush and extractor later on. This area looks like mice made a nest and they were both leaving their droppings behind and also bringing some food or different materials from the inside of the car that they could find. We were able to vacuum that up and actually get it pretty clean. So when we work on doors that have leather or vinyl or anything like that, we're pretty much using the same process, especially when they're covered in mold. The first thing we'll do is use TriClean, which is a cleaner that kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And then we'll use soft bristle brushes and sometimes a steamer from a distance just to kill the bacteria and kill the mold. And then we'll wipe it away. And we'll spend a decent amount of time on each section of the car to make sure that we really get it clean before moving on to the next one. We repeat the process with the steamer and the tri-clean throughout the entire interior, including the steering wheel, which was covered in a very thick layer of mold, worse than any steering wheel we've ever seen. So what we're using is the Tornador and that's pressurized air and it's using it to dry it off and also blow out any product that could be in the cracks or anything like that. Older leather can definitely be tougher to work with because if mold sits on it for a long time, it can damage it, it can remove the dye. And you also have to be really careful with the steamer because if you spend too much time in one area or you get too close, it can definitely damage it. And after we clean the interior components, we'll go ahead and focus on the carpets. And the first thing we'll do is spray our extractor soap into the carpet and we'll get it wet. And then we'll use the drill brush to agitate it into the fibers of the carpet to help release any stains or any dirt that's in there. And then we'll use the extractor to suck that all away.
And after the interior is completely clean with the leather and the vinyl, anything like that, we'll go ahead and use a leather conditioner. That way it can bring back the softness and the suppleness, but it also leaves it with a nice shine. And then some of the final things that we do to the car is cleaning the windows. And we add a tire shine to give the car those finishing touches so when the owner actually sees it, it gives that wow factor. All in all, this detail probably took us around 12 hours over the course of one day. And just looking over the final result of the car, we couldn't have been happier with the way it turned out, even though there was some damage to the exterior with the paint, everything else absolutely was fantastic. My favorite part about doing these details and posting them online is the satisfying content. A lot of people find that it helps their OCD, their anxiety, their depression. And that's the biggest thing to me because I struggle with anxiety myself. So if I'm able to help others by posting this content, that's the biggest win for me.